water injector. This is where it all started actually. Back uh, during World War II, the planes wanted more horsepower, so TRW and Rolls-Royce came out with a water injection system. When you put water in an engine, it expands 2,000 times, so you get a boost of power. So these fighter... Norman Wagg was TRW's original inventor of the injector, which helped the fighter planes reach higher altitudes over enemy planes and gave them a critical fighting advantage. Wag later adapted the jet fuel system for race cars and then ultimately passed on his technology and trade secrets to Tectane, where together they began refining the system for regular cars. Now you're looking at the famous water injection system and what this really does is injects directly into the combustion of the engine, into the furnace of the engine and the way that the water is being effective is that at 1600 degrees Fahrenheit in the combustion of the engine, water is turned into hydrogen and oxygen. We had a team of mechanics install an injector on an ordinary old car to see what it could do. But first we went to OTI emissions laboratories to help explain and confirm the basics of the science involved. The great advantage of adding water is that the water contains 89% oxygen and 11% hydrogen. So at about 1600 degrees Fahrenheit, plus the pressure in the motor, the water splits into oxygen and hydrogen and then it recombines itself to produce water and more energy, clean energy. That is the big advantage. Okay, I hope you got that. Now here's just a few of the advantages the water injector can achieve because of all that. I talked to a variety of mechanics about the difficulty of adding a system like this to cars that already have very smart computers in them, and they assured me it was easier than it used to be. It was just a matter of having the code. Ain't that always the truth? Anyway, the mechanics put one on a car for us, and the installation went pretty fast. Okay, so Fernand and the team have put it on, and now we're going to see whether she flies. Okay, beautiful. Turn it on. That's good. Fantastic. You're starting to see the water flowing there already. Oh, it's flowing. Well, it didn't blow up. That's a good sign. Water is flowing. That's a great sign. Now we're going to see if it actually drives. Of all the claims of being able to drive on gas or ethanol, saving money, saving the environment, the first one I wanted to test was the super low octane claim. Tectane says you can drive any car with their system using even raw, what they call straight cut, dirt cheap, 75 octane gasoline, and your car will purr like a baby. The injector will actually boost the octane past anything you could get at the gas station right now. So we went back to OTI to get some of that cheap raw stuff try it out. To verify that this is what? 75.0 octane, the blend that was made and tested on uh, the octane machine. Okay. In a normal car, this gas would make your car knock and jerk. Nice, cheap, raw gasoline working as if it was high octane. What do you think? Enjoying the drive? I would well enjoy the drive, yes. I'm, I'm listening to see if I could hear something. I don't hear anything. Nope, not a knock at all. Zero knockage. Next time we do it in a rolls. I don't know if you found that as fun as I did, but it fairly instantly proved 
the first money saving option. Okay, let's jump. AEM presents Water Methanol Injection for Gasoline Vehicles. What is water methanol injection and how does it work? Water methanol injection is a safe, economical, supplemental injection system that provides two main benefits for forced induction gasoline engines. Reduced inlet air temps and detonation or not suppression. A cooler, denser air charge and increased detonation resistance means more boost. And ignition timing can be used to make more power while using normal pump gas as the primary fuel. Common items to all water methanol systems are a tank to hold the fluid, a pump, an injector or nozzle, and some means to control the delivery of the water methanol mixture. Once the system activates, a highly atomized mist of water methanol is injected into the engine's intake. A common misconception is that so much liquid water is being injected that it could damage the engine. But this is not true. The fluid is injected into the intake as a highly atomized mist with billions of tiny particles that quickly begin to vaporize. Now this vaporization process is very important because it's what causes the air inlet temps to decrease. As a fluid changes state from a liquid to a vapor, it absorbs heat which cools the air around it. We've all felt this evaporating cooling effect before. Brrr! Whenever you get out of a pool on a breezy day and suddenly get very cold. This chilly effect is from your body heat being absorbed as the pool water evaporates into the air. Water methanol injection provides this same cooling effect for your engine, and air inlet temps can be reduced by as much as 100 degrees Fahrenheit. As the inlet air is cooled, it becomes denser, which means more oxygen is delivered to the combustion chamber. More oxygen means more fuel can be burned to make more power. A cooler air charge also slows down the combustion rate and helps reduce the chance of detonation or knock. But what is detonation? Detonation is the unintended or premature combustion of the air-fuel mixture in the cylinder. The combustion process in your engine is normally a very precise event, where the air-fuel mixture burns in a controlled manner. If combustion starts happening at an uncontrollable rate, cylinder pressures and temperatures can skyrocket, and the results can be disastrous. Missing spark plug tips, broken piston ring lands, melted pistons, or worse. Detonation is an engine killer. Now we know that cooler inlet temps can help reduce detonation, but that's only part of the story. The vaporized water absorbs heat in the combustion chamber, reducing excessive rates of combustion, temperatures, and finally the chance of detonation. Methanol as a cool, burning, high-octane fuel also helps to cool and control combustion. Reduced air inlet temps and detonation suppression means more boost and ignition timing can be used to safely make more power. And as you can see, that has some great benefits. But there's more than one way water methanol injection makes power. There is a steam engine effect that occurs as the water turns to vapor in the combustion chamber. The vapor expands, increasing torque and power output by intensifying the download force in the pistons during the power stroke. While the steam engine effect generates more power, the water vapor literally steam cleans the engine parts. And that's how water methanol injection works. Imagine having the benefits of a super efficient intercooler and race gas-like detonation control in a safe, economical package. Reduced air inlet temps and less ignition knock allows more timing, more boost, and more power. For more information about water methanol injection, visit www.aemelectronics.com. Econicid functions with distilled or rainwater placed in the reservoir. The humid air created is drawn into the reactor, which is heated from 400 to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, and due to its specific conception, turns the humid air into a gas. This gas vapor is injected into the air intake of the engine, which optimizes the combustion process. There is no more unburnt fuel and you get better performance and results from your motor. This optimal combustion of fuel produces a remarkable reduction in polluting gases. Donc au final, c'est moins de consommation de carburant, moins de pollution, de meilleure performance. Donc moi en tant que technicien, c'est un produit que je recommande. 
Do you know of a product that allows you to save money while actively participating in protecting the planet? Ecology plus economy equals Econikit. Drive clean, drive Econikit. For more information, please visit www.econikit.fr. momento está en baja. <risa> 